In this video I will show you how to make a music video using a game engine and in this case Unreal Engine 5. We are living in amazing times as indie artists, as musicians or just music video producers. What you can picture in your mind, as long as you can imagine it, you can build it using Unreal Engine. It's incredible. And I got inspired by Youngman X. She recently shared her workflow how she makes music videos using Unreal Engine. And I really like this video. And since this is exactly what I do, but I have an entire different workflow and an entire different approach, I thought, okay, hey, why not share also my workflow? So shout out to her, I link her video in the description below and also in the description below I not only make music videos with Unreal Engine, I also teach Unreal Engine so I have a beginner course where we go step by step through the entire process really from beginners who have no idea about Unreal Engine to create a first professional scene. So if you want to find out more also the link is in the description below. Of course I also really appreciate it if you check this out so thanks so much and let's go on with this video here. I want to show you some of the things that I made and also some other very popular videos on YouTube that were made using Unreal Engine. For example this is a music video I made it's actually the very first music video I made. I'm part proud of it and proud embarrassed by this um, but since this is the very first one I want to show you this. Um, to show you how quickly you can get into all this stuff and you can make this from your PC at home. Yeah, but this is actually the very first music video I made. And so here, the artist is here on a huge stage and we build some story around this and at the very beginning we had this neon scene and a robot coming from the back. Oh my gosh, we had virtual dancers. That was probably the most complicated thing I've ever done in my entire life. We retarget the animations from the mocap suit to these dancers and then we recorded this scene live synchronized with these dancers. So that's complicated. You d definitely don't have to do this. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. So we have like, I have no idea, like 16 or 18 different scenes. That was definitely much, much too much. So where are the dancers anymore? Ah, here again. Bam, that was all life. And I'm definitely not happy how the characters, how the dancers are looking. Um, I would do this much, much better today. But I mean, that was a great learning project. Um, so we also had this hacker scene here where she then tried to get this secret USB stick like, <laughs> oh my God, they were fighting. Okay, no, that was my very first music video. Um, for example, a complete different music video for the same artist, much more fut futuristic was this one here. Um, and that was all in the same room, in the same environment, bam, and she was really sitting there inside of this tower. And I mean, we have also a lot of shots. She's also flying with a private jet here. Now she's coming here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then doing some coding stuff and some... Now that was a futuristic project. So this is not a music video, this is just another scene, but I want to show you this is just virtual only, like 100%. So, and you can see here at the top, that's me wearing the mocap suit. And I'm jumping back, yes, and also re-filming this with a camera. And this is also an animation show I just started. And I mean, you can dance, you can perform. I think I do this here also. Yeah, here this guy dreams to be a rock star one day. Yeah, but I mean, he fails and unfortunately he has no audience. But I'm pretty sure in the future this will change because he will make amazing music videos in the future. So here's a very popular example of a YouTube video that got more than 200 million views by a popular YouTuber Mr. Beast, and he's also using Unreal Engine. So that looks like a stage, right? But look at this. Bam! He made it look like this huge bridge from Squid Game. But again, here before, it's just like this, and then suddenly, bam, this is done using Unreal Engine. And since he's so popular, I wanted to be with him together in the same room, get this green screen footage 
inside the engine. And again, I will show you this, how to do this in the video. Um, yeah, I mean, possibilities are really, really endless. And probably one of the most impressive examples is this show reel here by Jaro Atri. And what you're seeing now, this forest is rendered in Unreal Engine. It's not real, it's unreal. Yeah, and this character is real, but everything else, the entire scene is Unreal Engine. And I also want to show you why, because at the end of the day, you get a lot of these assets, a lot of these props here from this Unreal Engine marketplace. For example, when I now search for forest and I saw this by a uh, price from high to low, the most expensive first, we can actually see this guy spent some money like um, $250 or so. And we find the force that he was using for his music video. And if you now say, yeah, but I want to make something unique. I want to steal asset or so. Well, you don't steal, you just get some assets and then put them together like Legos. Uh, and, and let me show you how this works. And this is also the last scene I want to show you. I wanted to create a piano bar scene. That's me here in the front. And in the back, it's my girlfriend. And you, you can see there are more characters here on the left side. There's a girl and there are two guys at the bar. Yeah, that's just a nice cinematic piano bar scene. And I want to show you exactly how I made this scene. And of course, I went here to this Unreal Engine marketplace and I typed in bar. And I got some bars here, some bar asset, and I find this fuel bar here and I actually paid like $34 for it. You can see some example shots. And when you open this, it looks like this and you navigate here like in a video game. You can look around and you just pick some things and move it around. And of course, you can change the scale, um, rotate it like everything is possible. And of course, you can add other assets and remove them. And for example, what I did was, first of all, I made some space. I removed all the instruments here at the side because I didn't want it to have like a rock bar scene. Um, I wanted to have a piano bar. So I removed all these assets. I wanted to have more of these tables and chairs and so on. And all I just did was really pick them, like press Control W, to duplicate them and then you just have here can move them around rotate them to the other side and place it here i mean i need more time to really customize it and to make it look good of course but it's so much fun to do and i will show you what i made out of it i didn't made it too complicated i just kept it simple and i got um for example here also in the bottom i have my content browser this is where I can get more of these asset packs and I can add some of these stage elements. And I didn't get these lights, but I got a grand piano, of course, in the middle here. And I just put this, drag and drop this. I think I rotated it like this and I can change the color. I can close the lid. And the fun part comes also when we go here to the left side and we can get, get some lights and create an entire new atmosphere just with lights. I mean, it's so incredible. You probably know how important lighting on, and lights are for music videos. You can get as many lights as you want and you can change everything. Of course, the next step, you can add some characters. So I have virtual characters ready in the scene. For example, I have this guy here and also I just drag and drop him here. And the reason why I had this guy is I used him as a placeholder thing like this, as if he would sit here at the piano that I could work with the lights and it actually already works pretty good. So his face is bright. So for example, let me turn off the light I just added to the scene. So let's turn this off and you can see his face gets dark. That's making him a little bigger. Yeah, and this is just the light I just dragged into the scene. So this helps a lot like create a great um, and, and realistic lighting. And if you never worked on this before, like if you have no idea about lights, Now's the time to learn this. Just, I mean, you can see this while um, in, in real time. So that's the beauty with the game engine. 
you can see exactly how the light reacts and how everything reacts while you are playing around with this, with these Legos and all other 3D software applications. You have to wait and render and so on. And I always thought, oh my gosh, this is so complicated. No, but it's, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy this process. So the next step, for example, is that also in the left side, you type in camera and you get a camera. I mean, it looks like a cheap camera. It doesn't look like a serious camera, but it's actually one of the best cameras you can get in the world because you have a super expensive lens. Like, let's check this out. Focus. Can you see this guy here on the bottom right corner? I'm just adjusting the focus here. So with the blurriness in the background and, ah, well, he is not 100% in focus yet. And this hair does not look so good, but there are other characters that look really, really amazing. So that's actually one approach to work with virtual characters only. But what I showed you before, and that this is the second approach is to work with real people, put them inside of this 3D world. And this is uh, done using green screen, of course. So let me show you how I do this. So here's actually the scene I really use for the music video. And you can see here just this simple plane, right? It's, it looks like a white plane. And when we go a little further in the back, there's another plane. And there's also the girl here, this th another 3D character. So this is another placeholder I use, this girl. Let's move this away. Let's see what we have here. Here's another character. And here's another girl, also virtual. So these guys here, these two are for the background. Yeah, and I could move them around and so on, but you will see what will happen to them once I open my sequencer. And sequencer is something very, very special. So sequencer is actually your editing software like Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, whatever you're using. And it's inside Unreal Engine and it's free. And here I am. So what is this? This is green screen footage. Yeah, and when we go here a little to the side, we can see it's actually really just this. Can you see this? It's just this plane, this 2D plane. But from the right angle, from the correct angle where the camera is, it looks like it's really there. That was actually the white plane we had before. I just put on my green screen footage. Yeah, just drag and drop. And there's a key, the MF chroma key. You remove the key like in, in your editing software and that's the result. And so here's the girl also on this other white plane. The thing is also this plane here reacts to the lighting in the scene. I mean, it's really hard to make green screen look good. Well, it, at least it was for me. Yeah. When I did this, when I tried this before, but now here inside this game engine, because it's inside this 3d space i move the light around and then it all makes sense so let's bring this back where it was and let's have a look here what i did with sequencer so it's actually right now it's not very fluent but you can see i'm sitting here at the piano and then the focus changes from me to her here at this point And I just keyframed it. So when we go to the left side, we can see So here's our video files, the media files. That's her. That's me. That's just the video file. Then we have the barkeeper here in the back. And we can now see we have an animation attached to this guy. Yeah. So he really gets, goes to the girl and serves her something and, and <laughs> creating this animation is really so I'm talking about this animation in a second okay so uh, let me show you what's happening here so the next step is the girl itself this is the main camera and when we go to the camera exactly here at this point you can see there are two white dots here and when we go to the left side we can see that this is the camera focus first it is focused on the first plane yeah and that's me and here in this part, the focus changes back to her. And that, this, this makes this cinematic shot 
Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of depth in this and in this video and this scene. This, of course, also helps, but it's. <laughs> I mean, what should I say? I thought it's hard to do, but it's really this drag and drop. I mean, you need you need to practice a little, but it's not so hard as I always thought it would be. Um, yeah, I mean, you can keyframe everything here. The zoom, the focus, um, where the camera is moving. So let's have a look at the camera itself when we... So here's the camera. And now when we are going into sequence, you can see the camera is coming closer to me. Yeah, and this is because I'm moving here the timeline and I set some keyframes for this camera. Come on, I mean, how many people would you need? Yeah, and you need an expensive film crew for a shot like this, just to move the camera so smooth and steady and zoom exactly at the position, change the focus exactly at the position where you need this. I mean, this is complicated stuff to do. And by the way, you can learn all this by playing around with this engine. It's So for me, it's a dream come true. Now let's have a look at animations because you could make a music video entirely virtual and it can really, really look good. Um, so, in the back we have this character, right? And now you would say, yeah, but this is complicated stuff like animation, how do I make this, that they're really moving, do I need a mocap suit? And yes, you can get one, it's also a lot of fun. But you can find animations online. There's this site called Actor Core, and you can get characters, you can get animations. And for example, let's search for bar... Let's see if there's a barkeeper. Well, there's a bartender. And um, you can get this animation here from a bartender for $2.25. And all you do is like you click here through, you, you purchase it, you download this and then drag it into Unreal Engine and you have your animation inside. So, and this is what we have here. The animation. And once you have the animation inside, you click this little plus sign and you select your animation. Yeah. For example, when I choose this one, suddenly this guy has the same sitting animation as this girl. Let's see how this looks when he's sitting here. <laughs> I mean, he has now a female animation applied. Uh, the body uh, uh, proportion is a little different. Let's add a camera. It's just the press of this button here. Oh, I mean, it already doesn't look too bad. Uh, bringing in focus. I mean, his movement is a little strange, yeah? It looks a little female, right? I mean, it is. It is female. It's a female animation on a male body. No, but this is how animations can work today. So, you should know, there are no limits like in how you really want to customize it. That was just now part number one. You get like a pre-made asset from the marketplace and you get um, prepared animations from this actor core library and you can definitely create art of, out of it. Yeah, it, it has, some, has something to do also how much time you want to spend and so on and how much you really want to customize. But let me show you how the process would look like if you would really customize everything from scratch. So this is how it looks like if you have a default map in Unreal Engine and it's actually a game. You can press play and like walk around with this character and you can keep this in your scene if you also want. And I, I like to um, start also with this map and with this template to have a character here inside that you can um, check the proportions, the size and so on. So, but at the end of the day, you can delete all this. You just have an empty level, yeah? And get some daylight in and of course you can change the daylight and um, these things here are just shadows and we need to rebuild lighting to get rid of it. But for now it's okay. All your assets, you can make them by yourself or you can go to Fiverr or Upwork and let it done by people who are uh, great with Blender and are great with modeling, 3D modeling and all this stuff. Or you just get one of these assets like the bar we have from the marketplace and you have 
everything, all the meshes as single parts. And you can then start creating here and, and putting these walls together. And let's drag some into the level and see how it goes. So that's it for now. Press E to rotate. And yes, this takes some time until you have a full finished building that you can really, really use. But like after three hours or so, you have a pretty, pretty impressive set that you can use and that you can film in. And let's say you don't like how this brick wall looks. You can get into this material here and check it out how it looks in green or in blue or maybe just make um, a cassette wall. Yeah, and this could actually be like a photo wall, a picture wall when I bring her here. In front of this, I add another cine camera. Come on. Let's focus her and she still looks a little dark and daylight in this default scene is never good. So this time I'm adding a rectangle light and this is so when we zoom out a little more, this is one of those very classical lights that is used for film production like this. LED panels, bam. And I mean, this already probably looks quite okay. Um, yes, I mean, I, I haven't made any adjustments yet and I am very happy with the results. So very bright. I mean, it's, it's just a bright light from the front. Yeah, but the brightness, already worked like in front of the picture wall right this could be a red carpet shoot right and and you can give her an animation you can try to build um, yourself as a virtual character there are amazing possibilities and i hope i could give you a slight impression what's possible with unreal engine when it comes to making music videos that's definitely my passion. That's what I love doing. That's what I spend a lot of time doing. So I really appreciate it. If you're still watching, thank you so much. And if you are still watching, I'm pretty sure you will love my class where I guide you step by step through this whole process. You will find the link down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.